Welcome to the next chapter in our Total Quality Management series. Today we're diving into the world of Statistical Process Control, or SPC, a powerful tool for monitoring and improving processes using data. Whether you're in manufacturing, healthcare, or any service industry, SPC can help ensure your processes are stable, predictable, and delivering consistent quality. Let's get started. First, what exactly is Statistical Process Control? SPC is a method of using statistical techniques to monitor and control a process. The goal is simple, detect and reduce variability to keep your processes stable and in control. Think of it as a dashboard for your process, it provides real-time feedback to help you make informed decisions. With SPC you can identify trends and correct problems before they result in defects. SPC is not just about spotting problems, it's about preventing them. By analyzing process data, you can identify areas of improvement and ensure consistent quality across your operations. This is particularly important in industries where precision and consistency are critical, like aerospace, automotive, and healthcare. There are three key concepts to understand in SPC. 1. Common Cause Variation these are inherent variations in a process like slight differences in material thickness or environmental conditions. They're normal and expected. Managing these requires optimizing your process design and equipment. 2. Special cause variation. These are unexpected abnormal variations caused by specific events, like equipment malfunction or operator error. Identifying and eliminating these variations is crucial to maintaining control over your process. And 3. Control Limits. These are calculated boundaries on a control chart that help you determine whether your process is operating normally or experiencing special cause variation. The control limits are not the same as specification limits which are customer-driven. Control limits are process-driven and help you monitor performance in real time. Now let's look at the heart of SPC, the control chart. A control chart is a graphical tool that shows how a process behaves over time. Here's how it works. The center line represents the average of your process data, giving you a benchmark for performance. The upper control limit and lower control limit define the boundaries of acceptable variation. Data points within these limits indicate a process in control. Data points are plotted in real time to monitor the process. If the points stay within the control limits and follow a random pattern, your process is in control. But if they drift beyond the limits or show a non-random pattern, it's time to investigate. Control charts also help you detect trends or shifts in the process, such as a gradual increase in defects or a sudden spike in variability. By addressing these issues proactively, you can maintain process stability and quality. There are several types of control charts, depending on the type of data you're analyzing. The two most common are, X-bar and R charts, which are used for continuous data, like measurements of weight, length, or temperature. The X-bar chart monitors the average, while the R chart monitors variability within a subgroup. P charts are used for attribute data, like the percentage of defective items in a sample. These are particularly useful for processes involving pass-fail criteria. Other control charts include C charts, which are for counting the number of defects in a single unit or batch, and U charts, for defects per unit when sample sizes vary. Choosing the right chart depends on your process and the data you collect. Understanding the nature of your data ensures you apply the correct SPC methods. So, why use statistical process control? Here are some key benefits. Early detection. SPC helps you identify and correct issues before they lead to defects. It's a proactive approach to quality control. Process stability. It ensures your processes are predictable and reliable, leading to consistent outputs. Continuous improvement. By reducing variability, you're always moving toward better quality. SPC supports a culture of ongoing improvement, empowering teams to optimize processes. Cost savings. Preventing defects saves time and money, improving your bottom line. Reduced rework, fewer recalls, and improved customer satisfaction are direct benefits of implementing SPC. In today's competitive market, these benefits not only enhance your operational efficiency but also strengthen your reputation for quality. Let's look at a quick example. Imagine a factory producing glass bottles. By implementing SPC, they use an X-bar chart to monitor the thickness of the glass. 
One day, a data point falls outside the control limits. Investigation reveals a worn-out mold causing variability. By fixing the mold immediately they prevent defects and avoid costly recalls. Another example could be in healthcare. A hospital uses SPC to monitor patient wait times. By identifying special cause variation, such as staff shortages during peak hours, they adjust staffing schedules to improve service quality and patient satisfaction. That's the power of SPC in action. To summarize, statistical process control is an essential tool in total quality management. By using data to monitor and control your processes, you can ensure consistency, reduce waste, and deliver exceptional quality. In the next video, we'll explore how to set up SPC in your organization step by step. Also, check out our other training videos in this series where we continue to delve deeper into the six pillars of total quality management, as well as tools, benefits, and how to implement TQM in your organization. Thank you for joining, and don't forget to subscribe for new videos from All Things Quality.